I'm going to tell you two separate stories of two very different people who are going to have an experience that was impossible three years ago. The first is of Brittany. Brittany is searching for a gift for a friend of hers. She goes up to magic.com and she searches for how piggy bank doing yoga. About 10 separate listings pop up and she selects the one that she really likes. And about two to three days later, it shows up in the mail for her and she's able to give it to her friend and her friend is delighted. The other is of a fellow named Joe. Joe is trying to fix his dishwasher. It's left over from the 1970s, back when things were built to last, but not every part is still holding up. There's a small clip inside of it that has just snapped off and he needs a new one. He takes a picture of the clip, uploads it to search, and again, about 10 or 15 listings pop up showing different versions of that clip. He grabs the one that'll work for his dishwasher and he clicks buy now, and again, two days later, it shows up. The secret to all of this was the fact that none of those parts existed until Brittany or Joe purchased the piece. Here's what happened. When Brittany searched for yoga piggy bank, an AI image generator started winding up and it created those 10 different listings, creating images from all different angles of the item. And then when she found the one that she liked and she purchased it, a separate AI generated a 3D model from those images, making it fully engineering reliable, fully functional and ready to go. That file was then sent to a giant print farm like ours, a print farm with thousands of machines and one of hundreds of those print farms around the world, each one located in a large city so that parts can be delivered as quickly as possible. When that file was grown inside of the print farm, it was then thrown into a box and shipped just a few miles to Brittany's house. Similarly, when Joe took a picture of that clip, the LiDAR sensor in his phone scanned the part, giving it a baseline of dimensionality so that the 3D model could match exactly the part that he was taking a picture of, and then was able to create the model fully and ready to be assembled once Joe made the order. The part was then sent again to a print farm and it was printed off in carbon fiber nylon to make sure that it'd never break again. And then that part was shipped again, just down the road to Joe's house. None of these parts were ever stored. None of these products ever existed. Both of these customers got a product that never existed before and would never exist again. But each one of them was made more efficiently than anything ever before. There were not thousands of the clips stored up for the last 20 years in an air conditioned warehouse. There was not a mold made thousands of miles away that made the piggy bank. There was simply a website that connected into a giant print farm that was effectively a warehouse where the shelves made the product. These customers were able to have not just large selection, but infinite selection. Anything they could possibly want or need was able to be created. And throughout magic.com, there are all kinds of designers. A kid in Africa is designing jewelry and kitchen wares for a woman in New York. A college student is designing a new tool or widget that's being used across the planet. None of them ever has to know how shipping works. None of them ever has to know how the part is manufactured. They simply create and deploy the same way websites and web apps were created before. But now instead of simply changing the colors on a screen, they're able to change the objects in your hand. As I said before, this was all impossible three years ago, but it is already being demoed today. Here at Slant3D, we've already demoed a number of these capabilities in-house and we're working with clients who are doing similar types of projects. This is why we released our API so that anybody can get access to our print farms. It gives people the ability to create anything without knowing anything about how it was created. And with the new AI generation tools coming out that are already able to create 3D models that are reasonably printable, these systems will now be able to create products that people will actually hold. Now it's not gonna happen overnight. There are a number of large engineering challenges with making magic.com a reality, but all of them are achievable. You will start seeing versions of magic.com in focused niches come out. Things as simple as a cookie cutter generator that uses AI generated images to create the outline of the cutter so that you can get a unicorn or a smiley face immediately without knowing how to design or draw or needing to. 
This is going to create a world where there is less waste from overproduction. There will no longer be 25% of toys ground up at the Christmas season because nobody ordered them. No product will ever exist until somebody actually wants it. And the product that is created will be almost completely unique to that consumer. This is a world of abundance where whatever you need simply appears when you need it. There's no waste, there's no storage, there's less shipping and less overall consumption because you simply ask for the thing that you need and it's able to be created for you. It's really exciting to see what is being enabled and what will be coming down in the near future. Have a great day, everybody.